Okay, so this is really easy. When you go... be bidding on this um, it's a 10 by 30 unit and it's there's only three pictures on here to view but it's pretty full I mean there's a little space right here but it's pretty full a lot of vintage stuff like if I look right here I'm watching it's at $930 right now four minutes I'll wait just a minute I'm gonna put in I'm thinking I'm um, 10 by 30. I'm gonna pin $1,320 as my max bid. All right, we're at 10 seconds, so. All right, and I, end up, I win this one for 16.10, so. We will see you when we get there. If it... All right, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another storage unit to load. Um, we're here, kind of a little hole in the wall facility. Bought this one online for, um, you had to pay a pretty good minute. It's a 10 by 30. Looking like it's gonna be vintage and antique stuff. Hopefully we find some good stuff in here. I had to, this time of year, right now, we're having to pay a lot for these units, but I paid $1,610 for this. Um, Volume alone, we should be all right, unless it just turns out to be all garbage, but hopefully we find some cool old stuff. So we're about to get started. Here we go. Gonna open her up. And it is dusty, musty, crusty, and all that. We got the old bike here. This is one thing I saw in the pictures when I was bidding cigarette promos, whether that's what's in there or not, I don't know. And then I saw that Winston sign. There's a Winston sign right there. And what else? I don't know. There's a lot of these big barrels in here. So, but it's a lot of stuff in here. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. We're some shredded up newspaper. <laughs> but so we're probably gonna end up with a bunch of you know like old glassware and all that kind of stuff in here. This is the box right here. I'm interested if this is actually what's in here or if it's just written on the box and somebody used it. some old pennants these are cool some oh, that's called cool. snoopy atlanta hawks these are hold on i think that's coming out that came off of that red man moist stuff clip on light Winston keychain. Okay, so this is it is that's what it is it's cigarette promos. This is cool. I Don't know if what any of these are worth or if they're really worth anything, but That's cool. So hopefully there's gonna be Odds and ends. there's a um, Newport baseball hat. So this is all like stuff you would get from Smoking like collecting the little barcodes off Like promotions and stuff like that Winston beach towel So that is interesting Mug Camel fleece shorts. Oh look at these you got Joe camel on there So if that's the I'm hoping they were 
because I saw this box, it said cigarette promos. And then I saw this box in the picture with these Pepsi cases here. So I was thinking that there were some, you know, that they were collecting stuff. Whether necessarily whether that's any good or not, but if they were collectors, then you never know what you're gonna find throughout. All right, we've got an old wooden like military trunk here we're about to look in. Take a look in another box here. Oh no, this is really cool. Micro machine gas can. This is awesome. I don't know how to open it, but this is cool. Somewhere or another, this thing opens up. I don't know how to open it. Let's see if you can get that. It's a micro machine, so it's going to be like a little city in it. Oh, look at this. All micro machines. Well, we can't... We can't quite figure out how to open it right now, but it's a micro machine. It's gonna be like a garage or something when you open it up. I'm not sure, but it looks like a gas gas can, but it's a micro machine city. And look at this, all these old McDonald's toys. It's all the fry people. All the fry people in there. And in here we've got, there's more micro machine stuff. That's micro machine, that's micro machine. All this and some of this micro machine stuff can be worth a good bit. And then we got a little pool table down there. So so far, so far so good. It was what I was hoping it was gonna, the kind of stuff it was going to be. But micro, look at this micro machine gas additive, and you open that up, and there's. If you were a kid back in the um, late '80s, early '90s, then there's a good chance you had micro machine yeah. stuff. I had an actual, I had a car battery. It was like that, but it was a car battery and then it would open up and it was a little city inside of there. Micro machines. We've got Kit Kats. No, I don't think there's any Kit Kats in here. But it's a Kit Kat box. We've got an old race car. Look at this stuff is dingy and dirty in here because it's open on the top. I don't know what in the world it is. Huh? There's Beetlejuice. Stinger, I don't know if it's an actual, if it's an actual bug zapper in here or not, let's see. Oh, we got new old stock. It's a, it's a bug zapper in a bug zapper box. It's on a bug zapper in a bug zapper box. <laughs> And you think this is whipped cream in there? And if it is, do you want it? I hope not, and absolutely not. <laughs> it's it's dry rotted. It's just coming up, coming apart. But it doesn't. I can hear something in there. It's no. It's I don't know what that is, but it's not whipped cream. I know that. <laughs> Little rocks or something. Oh, I'm looking this box right here. We got vintage Duplo. I don't think that's okay. It's not Duplo enough. The glass fish. I think there's more of them down in there. If you look down in this box, there's gonna be all kinds of odds and ends. There's some globe bookends. These are cool right here. A set of bookends with globes on them. So this, so far so good. I mean, every, this stuff has been, it's been in here for, for a long time, first off, it's all com completely covered in dust, and then all this stuff is, it's old, definitely old stuff. Um, but so far, it looks like it's gonna turn out turn out good, like there's gonna be, a, it's gonna be tons and tons of awesome stuff for the auction. Unusual stuff, old stuff, like that metal gas can right there, that's good. So those big um, galvanized wash tubs back there, those are good. Got some kind of tractor here, like a plastic toy tractor. It's got to be dug out. Record player. 
So a lot of people like the guy when okay, the guy that I um that works in the office. He works in the office at this place and this is the first auction that they've ever done online. Before we're kind of out here, you know, out in the middle of nowhere here and they they wouldn't have a, a whole lot of people would show up and he said the most that a unit ever went for was $500. So when he pulls up my paper at first, he was looking at the amount and he thought something, he was like, he didn't know what he was looking at. And he even asked, because after the, um, they took my 10% um, down everything, storage treasures, the total that I owe was $1,449. And he's looking at it and I was like, yeah, $1,449. He's like, that's the address? And I'm like, no, that's the amount. And he was like, his mouth dropped up and he's like, you just blew my mind. He's like, the highest we've ever had one go here was $500. And I mean, this is normal pricing for, you know, around Atlanta and a lot of the ones that go online. But, um, and then when he came and opened it up, he kind of took a quick look and I could tell he's probably thinking I was crazy because he just saw all this old dusty stuff and he didn't say anything, but I could kind of see the look on his face. And a lot of people would think that this is just a bunch of trash and would I love to have gotten it for 200 bucks? Yeah. Was there a time at a live auction where you might've gotten this for cheap? Yeah, because a lot of times there's only five or 10 of you here and everybody else was looking at it. I used to love it when people said this. Oh, that's too much work for me. As soon as I heard that's too much work for me on a good one, then in my head, I was like, I'm getting this one and I'm gonna get it cheap. But we're gonna continue loading up here. We're definitely not gonna get it all in one load. It's gonna take two trips, but um, this is going to be one there's going to be all kinds of interesting treasures and stuff to find i'm curious what's going to be in these big barrels there's two right there and there's several of them stacked up there so um so we'll start loading a little bit more and um we'll see what we find all right we just opened this box right here and look at this this is cool these are the, the joe camel um it's like a promo sign but for a gas station that they can um, use it as their open and close sign they can put their hours right there you slide that back and forth to make it open and close and then there's the back right there see it's got that little tab right there you slide for open to close but it's a whole box of them they're yeah. brand new so i'm thinking maybe these people either worked at a gas station like back in the 80s and 90s or had a, you know had a connection there connection. for somebody that worked there and we're getting you know cigarette stuff because so far we've found, found several cigarette company you know like promo items like that and then we open up even like it's like it said extra pots and pans and when i opened it up there was like a vintage meat grinder um old like monkey pod wood dishes and stuff and there was a vintage norman rockwell well, um, tray in there so it's like every everything we're opening up has good stuff in it. this says old tvs <laughs> this might be one of the box that isn't so good but it's got a um, no it's got like an old but see i don't know sometimes stuff like this i haven't really looked at old tvs but this is an old portable panasonic it says battery powered tv but sometimes this stuff can do all right just because it's, it's so you know weird and weird stuff to have um oh we got a cb look at this realistic extension speaker for a cb and a scanner I know all the scanner and CB stuff, a lot of that stuff is, is worth worth money. And this is like, I don't, it still has the original box. I haven't opened it up. I don't think it's new necessarily, but, and then right here, look at this old radio. It's not a CB, but it's just an old radio. All this stuff is sellable. Like I said, a lot of people would throw, I mean, literally, I know people that would throw stuff like this away, but right here, like Smokey Patrol 2 multiband. I'm not sure exactly what, but it's something to do with a CB radio. And that's like an old, okay, that's an old tape recorder. And then there is this old, just kind of basic TV. That's probably junk right there. But, but like I said, there's still every box so far we're finding good stuff in. This one, okay, I'm not sure if that's, I don't think it's a TV. I think it's something else. I don't know what it is yet until we can get it out of there. But and right here, we got like a little portable. I think it's a record player, automatic radio. Opens up. Oh, look at this. 
automatic radio, eight track, solid state radio. That just hooks back onto there. But it's actually, when you open it up, it's in really good shape. But yeah, we just opened this a minute ago to see what was in here. It's one of these big barrels. I was wondering if there was gonna be stuff in. On the top here, it says small garden ornaments hose. And when you open it up, that's pretty much what it is. It's, there's actually two brand new soaker hoses, but if you look down in here, it's got stuff like, look at this, vintage. This is awesome right here. It's like a toucan. Stake in the yard with a little windmill on it. And there's other ones down in There's that. There's pink flamingos. I can see other stuff down in there. And like, here's an old flat. Looks you know, like something you see from the 70s or 60s, that plastic flower. And I'm not gonna pull all that out, but it's just, you know, some yard stuff and some cool vintage yard stuff. But underneath here, we've got vintage toys. There's an old Cabbage Patch Games um, game. Some kind of a robot here. Tupper toys, I don't even know what that is. That's a record player, I pulled that out. And then here's another game. No, it's like a little train. It's like a vintage, this right here, it's like a vintage train. But this robot, let me see if I can pull him out. I don't know, I've never seen this exact one before. I don't really know. Okay, question, yes, true. So I think it's one of the things where it'll answer questions maybe. You ask it a question. I don't really know. Okay, here's a place for, it almost looks like an eight track goes in there right here but anyways vintage toy let's see if 1978 robot toy of some sort all right this box right here says alan two stuff or i don't know if it meant alan the second but that was the guy's name so they actually posted the name of the person this unit was but that was his first name but we've got a Lamborghini model. And it's, looks like he started on it. There's some of it's put together, but it looks like it's all, all there complete. And down in here, we've got, here's a Swiss Army box. I don't know if the knife is in here or not. That is it. Squiggle Wiggle Rider. We got helmets. We got a Georgia football. We got Casper. Fry people. Trucking magazine. Let's see what's in this box. And all kinds of. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that is one of the original ones. We got one of these bears. There's more turtles down here. That's good. Lots of old, older like retro toys. Hot Wheels. There's an old car there. Up, oh, Fraggle Rock. Old cars in there. So, little treasure box there. We'll have to kind of sort through. Raisin Man, this is actually ceramic. And another ceramic California raisin. Oh, no. okay. It's a John Smoltz baseball card, John Smoltz plaque, and then we have a autograph ball here. I see David Justice, Mark Wohlers. So this is sometime early to mid 90s. Braves team signed ball right here. Let me get it. There's more stuff wrapped up down here. Let's see. I don't know if it's more raisins. Oh, nope, this feels I can fill another ball here.
All right, this is a Jeff Blauser autographed ball and autographed card for the Braves. This is back in the early 90s when I was a little kid. He was the shortstop for the Braves when they went on their first, first run, several trips to the World Series. Only won one, should have won more, but that's a whole nother story. And the rain is coming down now. But another one of these barrels, they've got tons of these barrels and they're just packing. I didn't know if there's gonna be something special they put in here or what, but they're just putting like normal stuff in here. All right, we just found two of these old, um, the milk coolers. I don't know exactly what you call them, but it's the can. Oh, and it even has, um, don't forget to order butter, cream, dips, chocolate milk, eggs. But these would go like at your front door and then the milkman would come and he would put this in there and it would keep it cold until you went out there and got it. And Angie's put these milk crates on and they've got all these jars. And this bottom one so it has these real big, the blue jars, which everybody loves when it comes to jars. Blue jars are the jars. And we're gonna open up Let's see this one I have this says toys and we're gonna open it up. This one says garden hoses, planers, frog, and swan sets, but it ended up being we got a, a vintage like toy falcons helmet. We've got a master board skateboard. Oh we got a, we have a vintage milk crate, these are cool. Barber's milk crate. Get the old toy gun here. And Army Jeep. I don't know if that's supposed to be Chewbacca or not. Oh, it is. This is Chewbacca. What year is this from? Let's see. Kenner Products 19... 1977 now this is cool this is a 1977 stuffed Chewbacca he's in I mean he's got a little bit of dust and stuff on him but he's in pretty good shape we got a crocheted truck the bedtime express look at this guy pink plaid we've got a basketball bear we got a cowboy and look at this right here. We've got a Smurf Bank Blue Mold. Ooh, we got a vintage Mickey missing his nose. How many of the old Mickeys are missing the nose? Papa Smurf. Vintage Papa Smurf. Oh, look at this pillow right here. This is cool. That is cool. It's got either Yui, Dewey, and Louie. I don't know which one. And Minnie Mouse. And we got this old rabbit. Oh, look at this crocheted Oscar the Grouch. That's kind of cool. Another crochet, another crochet. Oh, we've got a vintage Mickey down here with the nose. We got a vintage Donald Duck. I don't know, I might end up having to keep one of these. We got another raisin. We've got Dino from the Flintstones. Frog. Crocheted duck. We got a cabbage patch kid. Something big right here. What is this? What in the? Oh, it's like a. It's a poodle. Big red and white poodle. I wonder if they won that at the fair or something and never took it out. Penguin. Bunny. Bear. Let's see if we get, is there anything else interesting in here? Oh, we got Miss Piggy. McDonald's Miss Piggy. It's like a Christmas version, it looks like. 
but we got another raisin in the plastic and we have the matching Kermit we have we have Kermit and Miss Piggy Christmas edition and these were from McDonald's somehow you can get those from McDonald's and we got Ziggy the Christmas Ziggy almost looks like Snoopy but I don't quite think he is a basketball and oh the bad smurf the little devil smurf let's see if this is actually alan's toys can we get it open this one's a little bit tougher than most of them to open so it's, there it comes and it is Larissa? Who's Larissa? Hmm. Maybe Alan had a girlfriend. Or maybe he stole Larissa's bike. That could be awesome. Some kind of Legos or something here. This thing is full of toys and pieces and parts of toys. <laughs> well, this yo the this yo yo says Larissa. Or maybe there's another. What well, said Alan's toys? Look, well, this is. Is this the actual. I don't think this is Transformers. It looks like, but then it doesn't. I'll have to look that look at that closer to see if that's actual Transformers. John Player Special. I see a wooden. Oh, Scooby Doo lunchbox, and this thing is full of something. Probably Matchbox cars. Probably. Rocks. I found more rocks and rock. lunchbox full of rocks. <laughs> the lunchbox is really cool. Lots of Hot Wheels and stuff down here, and then these big. Sorry, I'm in your way. Metal tractor trailer backs. I wonder if the front of these are anywhere. Looks like there's two of them. There's a GM Fisher body. And then we got this. Oh, Dollar General. So maybe the front of those will be. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Coffin. Oh, this is cool. Coffin Bank, and it still works. It's working right now. I don't know. I don't have any change to give. Okay, so I guess when you, when you go to put a coin in there, I guess you touch that. And then it comes after you. Let's go. Cool. There's a crane down in there. If you got a flower bed and it's just incomplete, you feel like something's missing, this is probably what you're missing. This lady right here. Oh, uh, look at this Battlestar Galactica puzzle. And then there's another Battlestar Galactica. We found a vintage. Covered in dust, light bright here, and it is in there. Need to pay for it, but it's in there. All right, we have this box right here, and this thing is jammed full of it. Looks like a lot of vintage kids' books. So we're keeping our eye out for um, any old Dr. Seuss books. If you haven't been paying attention. A lot of those are worth a lot of money now, but these these old little gold books are cool too. Could we try this? Could we All right, try? we just opened this box. We got some really old books here. We have this old dictionary from the 30s. 
we have these encyclopedias from the 30s, but they just have a really cool look to them to display on a shelf. But then these books right here, the New Self-Interpreting Bible Library. Really nice looking set of books. It even has print on the side of the pages there, but these are dated 1916. All right, I just went through two of those big barrels and they were full of plasticware and all, everything in this giant tote here and everything in that giant tote is actually, you know, like real vintage Tupperware brand stuff. We've got the containers with the lids and there's all, I mean, tons of stuff here. All the vintage Tupperware. Both of these things are full. We got to piece it together. And I think there's actually more. I remember when we were loading the unit, it seems like I saw more containers that had that. And then look at this right here. These are cool. These old jello molds. Fred Flintstone. Barney. Pebbles. Dino. It's the whole, this whole little set here. And here's another one. There was two of those. That one's still in the Flintstone dessert mold. Free with the purchase of six four serve packages or three eight serve packages of Jello brand gelatin. Not for resale, so I can't resell these. No, not really. I've gotten a million things that say that. But, um, and then also, I found this skateboard earlier. I actually showed it when we were finding it in the barrel, but I just looked these things up and I didn't really see any selling, but people were asking like $200 and up on eBay for this thing. This blaster board, skateboard from the 80s. It's not locked, but we're going to see what's in here. And it's full of tape. <laughs> Lots of tape. Here, lift, that, lift that side up there and we'll see what's underneath it. nothing so that was an odd trunk we get mm -hmm. lots of packaging tape and a fly swatter <laughs> not a jackpot oh. fell off the ledge. Back up. not treasure any means unless you're shipping up packages then i guess that could be treasure but and then okay oh ooh. i think i can get, get to this now Find it. Metal falling over them. Let's see what in the world this is. It's a record player. Look at this thing. This is cool. It's like the whole in one like portable box. You open it up in the speakers, record player, and everything. I've never seen one like this exactly. I've seen like a case where it just opens up, but not one where it folds in like this and then has the speakers. It's cool. All right, we got this box right here that says gun shells. And one time it said coffee pot spices. But it says gun shells. You think there's gonna be gun shells in it? I doubt it. All right, we just finished unloading the first load from this unit. All these boxes, we got stuff sitting here. All this, plus more big items that are out in the auction area. Lots of trash. Trash. The dumpster is full. They're coming to dump that thing in the morning. But we can't put nothing else in it. But the trailer is all empty and ready for us to go um, get that second load tomorrow. And we'll be doing two videos for this unit. So, two loads, two videos because there's lots of stuff to go through and lots of stuff to show. If you like the video so far, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff and make sure you watch for part two of this video. Alright, have a good one.